Hi, welcome to this tutorial on differentiating terms of the form ax to the power n where a and n are constants. Now it can be shown that dy by dx for terms like this turns out to be a n times x to the power n minus 1. In other words, you just simply multiply the power by the number in front of x and then subtract the power by 1. Also, following this idea, if you have terms of the form y equals ax, then dy dx turns out to be a. So if you have y equals 5x, dy dx would be 5. If y equaled 3x, dy dx would be 3, and so on. And also, if you have a constant, dy dx turns out to be 0. So if y equaled 3 fifths, dy dx would be 0. If y equaled 7, dy dx would be 0, and so on. And these results all stem from this particular result. And if you want proof of these, I will show you at the end of this video. But rather than waste time, let's get on with an example. And here's my first one. y equals 5x to the power 4 plus 7x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x minus 2. We have a number of terms here which are of these forms. So therefore I can differentiate this with respect to x. So for the first term it's like this one up here, ax to the power n. So all I need to do is multiply the power by the number in front of x, so it would be 4 times 5 which is 20, and reduce the power of x by 1. So that's x to the power 3, 20x cubed. As for the second term here, it's again like this, ax to the power n. So I multiply the power by the number in front, so that's 3 times plus 7, so that's plus 21. Reduce the power by 1, so that's x squared. Now in the third term here, again it's like this, but you've got to be careful, don't rush in and write a plus because this is now minus 6. So 2 times minus 6 is minus 12. We reduce the power of x by 1, so that's x to the power 1. Now when you have anything to the power 1, x to the power 1, it's a bit silly to write that 1 in, although it still is correct even if you left it there. But we tend to ignore it, just rub it out, and just simply write it as x. So that's minus 12x. Now when we come to the next term, plus 3x, it is essentially this kind of term. And to differentiate this kind of term, you just get the constant in the front of x. So for differentiating plus 3x, we'd have plus 3. And now to differentiate the minus 2 with respect to x, minus 2 is a constant, and so differentiating the constant just leaves you with 0. So I could write plus 0, but that's a bit silly, so we just leave it off. OK, that brings us to the end of my first example. We'll try another example. Now in this example, I've introduced a few fractions. And also, I've introduced terms that are just x to a power here, and this one down here. So I'll show you how we handle those. So we would have dy by dx in the usual way equals. Now with this one it is actually this type. Only a is a 1. We've got a hidden 1 here. So following through the same idea we would have 4 times the number in front of x, the 1. So 4 1's are 4. And then we would reduce the power by 1, so that's x to the power 3. Now when it comes to fractions, it's no different. We still use this rule. We've got minus 2 fifths and we multiply it by the power 3. So 3 lots of minus 2 fifths is minus 6 fifths. So we have minus 6 fifths x to the power 2. Remember to reduce the power by 1. With this next term, the third term, we multiply 2 with minus 5 sevenths, and we end up with minus 
10 sevenths. And we reduce the power by 1, so that's x to the power 1. But remember, it's a good idea not to write the 1 in. Now for this term here, minus x, we have a negative 1 in the front, and it is to the power 1. It is, in fact, this concept here. So we just get the constant in the front of x. So we would have minus 1. Then we have to differentiate a constant. This constant is a fraction. And if you differentiate a constant, you get 0. So we just leave that off. Now my next example, you can get questions which involve brackets. And what you have to do in questions like this is to expand the brackets first of all. So if we do that, in the usual way, we would have 5x times x, which is 5x squared. And then 5x times minus 3 is minus 15x. And minus 2 times x is another minus 2x. That makes minus 17x. And then minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6. So we now have three terms, which are these types up here. So we can differentiate this by following those rules. So for the first term, 5x squared, if we differentiate this, two fives are 10, reduce the power by 1, and we get 10x. With this term, minus 17x, it's like this, and we get the constant in the front, so it'd be minus 17. And for this term plus 6, when we differentiate it, we get 0, so we can just leave it off. So dy dx equals 10x minus 17. So with these three examples now, hopefully you should be able to differentiate terms like this. Now in this tutorial, I've purposely kept the powers of x as positive integers. But you can get fractional powers and negative powers. And in my next tutorial, I'll run through how we handle those. Now, I did say that I would show you how we prove these particular results. If you're interested, I'll move on and just show that to you. Now, to prove this result, if we had y equals ax, we can think of this as y equaling ax to the power 1. So in the usual way, what we can do is multiply the 1 with the a, which gives a, and then reduce the 1 by 1, and that gives x to the power 0. Now, anything to the power 0 is 1, so that's the same as a times 1. And so a times 1 is a. So if you've got y equals 3x, dy dx would be 3. y equals minus 5x, dy dx would be the constant minus 5. So in general, if y equals ax, dy dx equals a. And to prove this result, if we have y equals a constant, we can think of this as y equals a times 1. But 1 is exactly the same as x to the power 0. So we can think of that as a times x to the power 0, or ax to the power 0. So differentiating now, with respect to x, multiply the power, 0, by the number in front. a times 0 is 0. Reduce the power by 1, so that's x to the power minus 1. But anything times 0 is 0. So you can see that if we have a constant, dy dx always equals 0. OK, so hopefully you've now understood those particular results. And that brings us to the end of this video.